Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. I got a question emailed to me. SaaS and AI. SaaS is short for software as a service. So he says, uh, I wanted to ask, how do you see AI impacting SaaS? Do you think the SaaS industry will continue to grow in its current form or evolve into something new? Keep up the great work. Okay, so answering this guy, Andrew. AI is just a huge opportunity for people getting into uh, developing any SaaS-based business. Why do I say that? Well, two things. Number one, AI is going to speed up your workflow in ways we haven't seen in a while now. So what does that mean? That means, for example, there's a company, well, the owner or one of the founders contacted me a few weeks ago now, and he said that his team had developed a mobile application, I think it was a game, in three months, whereas prior to AI, it would have taken them over a year. So what does this mean? This means that a small company with uh, much less resources were able to compete in a much broader market, meaning they will be able to compete against much larger players and bring product to market, bring a SaaS product to market without having to raise huge amounts of money. So that's a huge opportunity for entrepreneurs. That's number one thing that AI will do for the SaaS business, allow smaller competitors to compete. And number two, the presence of AI is gonna bring in a brand new opportunities in terms of use cases. So let me translate that into non-nerd. That means you will be able to offer services or capabilities in your software, which will be delivered by AI. I'll use a very common thing, a chatbot, for example. So one of my friends, that's what he does for his business. He creates custom chatbots based on the intellectual property of his clients. So he gets hired, they have a web app, that uh, delivers the chatbot and the other AI tools. And then he will train a custom AI uh, based on uh, the uh, internal data of the company. So then the company can expose uh, that data to the public. I'll put it in, okay, in not nerd terms. Essentially, he delivers chatbots that uh, do customer service for clients. And, uh, and he trains the AI and deploys them on their website. So that's a business opportunity that did not exist prior to AI hitting the scene. So in terms of SaaS business development, AI is going to open up a huge, op huge opportunities for those two reasons I just mentioned. And in terms of jobs, again, just align yourself in that area. I tell the story in a recent video where when in uh, the early 90s, when web technology started coming around at that point, Thick client development was, was the way to do software. And I was one of the early adopters of web tech. And uh, it was very, very profitable for anybody who did that. Because when you jump into a new growing specialization, there's lots of opportunity for you there. So AI is not killing development. It's just shifting it. It's changing a little bit. I'm going to do a video very soon on uh, one of my nephews, young guy. Entry level job he just got as a developer. And in that company, they do a lot of AI work. They do a lot of web with uh, JavaScript, some PHP. They do a little bit of mobile, but they're implementing a lot of AI, not only in terms of uh, speeding up their production. So the AI will develop boilerplate code and help programmers just be more productive, but they're also developing apps. I think it's typically web delivered web delivered apps that allow for companies to leverage AI for their own internal processes. So you got two advantages. So you have a young guy, he's 20 years old, getting a job, he's not even finished school in this company, making pretty good money for an entry level job. This is in Europe. And um, AI made it happen. Well, part of the reason he made it happen was AI. I hope that helps. Cheers. Hey, I'm Uncle Steph. I train people in the ways of software development. I've been a professional coder since 1994, 95. It's been so long, I forget. Developed a bunch of apps. So I train, train people in software development. I have a boot camp. Well, it's a mentory program. It's very different from boot camps. I would say it's better. But anyway, you can check it out below, UncleSteph.com. I also solo courses. 
and uh, other things too. All right, I hope this helps. Cheers. I like to give last piece, pieces of advice in uh, my videos. If you are getting thin in, on the top of the head here, if you're losing your hair because you made the mistake of writing Ruby code or something like that, uh, just shave it off, dude. It looks much better, and I'm telling you, once you, you buzz it, I don't even shave it, I just buzz it, it's so much more comfortable. So if you're starting to thin out in the hair, the worst thing you can do is try to rescue it with uh, long comb overs and all this kind of crap. Just, it's so freeing, so relaxing. I was offered by a Turkish hair transplant company to fly me out as an influencer and to, uh, they would cover all my costs and I would just have to document all the hair trans transplants. And um, I said, no, I said, no. Uh, once you go shaved like that, it's so comfortable. And, it's, uh, you won't go back. All right, I hope that helps. <laughs>